This is my second video about this mechanical calculator and I've been watching some videos uh, which work out the square root of 2 using it. So if you haven't seen me use this before, I explained the basic functions of it uh, in my last video, uh, which is probably worth looking at before you start this one. Um, but basically it's an adding machine. It adds and takes away and through some clever algorithms you can make it multiply as well. One thing which isn't obvious how to do is to work out square roots of um, numbers on this. So I'm going to uh, use a method uh, which I've seen in other videos with other types of mechanical calculators uh, that I've adapted here for working out the square root of 2. Um, so we've got three bits to it. We have uh, our inputs over here, which are numbers that we can bump up on here. We've got how many times we've added that thing, and we've got the total from the adding so far. So we're going to do it for square root of 2, so I'm putting 2 here, and I'm going to turn this once, which puts 2 there. So far we've added one of them. Now, um, this method is going to give us the square root of 2 here, but it gives us it in a slightly messy format, because we clock past the 0. So it's going to give us something related to the root 2, which we can use to work out root 2. Okay, uh, this method is, ta is taking away odd numbers. Um, it's... I don't know, it's a clever little algorithm. So, we've got two here. From now on, this was just the, the, the number we inputted. If we wanted to do root three, we'd have put three there and so on. The method would be the same for whichever root. From now on, we're going to look at one of these numbers. So this one here, I'm going to set it to the first odd number, one. Now, when I do this, if I turn it that way, then I'm taking this number away, which is what I'm going to do. Yeah, means we're at 1. Then we're going to bump this up to the next odd number, which is 3, and take it away again. Now it's pinged here because we've clocked over. Um, we had 1, we tried to take away 3, and so it wasn't able to do that. Whenever that ping happens, we're going to add that back on to undo it. So we're back at 1 here. We're going to bump this up to the number above it, so that's going to be 2 from now on. Um, we're going to move the decimal places along, and we're going to start on the next one. So this is 1. We're going to take it away. Then we're going to go up, up to 3. We're going to take it away. And we're going to keep doing this, 5, until we clock... Uh, we can't take it away, until we clock over past 0. 7. Almost there. 9 clocks over, add it back on, and then bump that up one. So it's drawing it as an eight. Move it over again, start again. One, take it away. Um, three, clocks over, add it back on, bump that up one. Next, day, next place. One, three, Five, seven, nine, add it back on, add one, move it over, one. This process is just going to continue like this for as long as we want. Just do a few more. Clock's over, add it back on, add one, move it over, one. I bet that will do. Now, this number here, at first it doesn't look like square root of 2, and it's because this mechanical calculator gets a bit funny when you with its uh, accumulator here, uh, when you try to clock past 0. But this number is related to root 2. Um, if I get root 2 off on a calculator here, so root 2 is uh, 1.4142... So when we try root 2 plus this number here, 
we get 11.000000056. Um, as we did more decimal places on this thing, uh, we'd have got more and more zeros here. So what we found, uh, slightly bizarrely, is 11 minus our actual answer. Given that this machine is capable of doing uh, neg uh, subtraction, uh, that is enough to work out our root. So slightly odd thing you have to do at the end, but 11 minus our answer will get it to you for as many decimal places as you want.